Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today as we check out the best in modern retro gaming. Today we have a demo for you, Coromon. It is a game that's going to be released uh, hopefully this year, 2020, and it is a uh, monster training game where you uh, capture little monsters in some fashion and train them to battle something. So uh, we'll find out as we go in and see what this is like. Looks like we're sleeping. Ding dong. Come on, wake up, sleepyhead. Wake up, wake up. I like the little icon of him sleeping above his head. I think that's very funny looking. Time to get up! Didn't you hear the doorbell? A package from Lux Solus was just delivered. Why don't you come downstairs and we'll open it? Quest started the prologue. I'm sure your application got accepted, and then we'll have something to celebrate. So put some thought in deciding your look. Oh, mom. Always. <laughs> oh, we get to, like, customize our look. Oh, you know what? I am just going to sure pick. What is... Trying to figure out. That's the one I want, but how do I get... Oh, gosh. Look at all these options. I do not... Wait, hold on. I got to choose a cool hairdo. We've definitely got to do a cool hairdo. Um, I should do the mohawk. Yeah, let's do mohawk. Um, but we got... Let's do a green mohawk. That just... Can I do... I don't really want a bow in my hair. Really don't want a hat. Yeah, let's just do nothing. So we got a nice cool year. Here we go. Sure I do. You look great. Yeah, buddy. So let's uh, get in here really quickly and see if we can catch ourselves and train ourselves some interesting monsters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm styling. Yeah, boy. Okay. Looking good. Yeah, okay. Can I go? Okay, let's go. Let's go see the package that we have. I guess. I guess. There is supposedly a package for us. Good morning. Good morning. You looking sharp today. The package right over there on the diner on the di diner ta dinner table. Yeah, I can't read. Um, funny thing is, my actually my son has a little mohawk going on. His sides are not shaved as uh, neat as that is, but they're definitely um, you know mohawk. On. Oh, I found a Lux phone. Sweet. Huh? Why would they send? Why would they send over a phone? We already have one. <laughs> I love I love the emojis already. Hands down, love the emojis. Have you been living under a rock? This is a Lux phone, Mom. There's probably a message on it. Let's have a look. Ah, a video message. Oh, fancy, fancy. Hello there, aspiring trainer. Thank you for your interest in joining Lux Solus. My name is Cyprus, the founder of Lux Solus. In this video, I'll give you a short introduction about what we do. For years, we have been studying the mysterious creatures in Vel Velua called Koromon. What makes them who they are? What do they come from? How many are there? These are just some of the questions we try to answer. And to answer these, we've put together a skillful team of researchers over the years. A team which feels like a family. Together we've managed to accomplish great things, but there's still more to discover. We've just set up a new research project to which you would make a great addition. 
So welcome to Lux Solas. We hope that we're going to write a new chapter in the great history of our proud organization together with you. We invite you to our campus tomorrow. Here, under the watchful eye of our supervisors, you'll be prepared to become one of the best Coromon trainers. Once you arrive on the campus, please rep report at the reception and they will help you further. And don't forget to bring this Lux phone so we can stay in contact. Good luck, and hopefully we'll meet someday soon. Well, he seems like a nice gentleman. Well, what did it say, Stingray? Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> the dot, dot, dots. I love that. Every RPG has to have someone saying dot, dot, dot. Oh yeah, I'm super happy, and she is too. You did it, Stingray! I knew you could do it! I'm so happy for you! I absolutely just... I'll say it probably the whole game now. I love the emojis. Did they say when you have to leave? Yes, they expect me at the Lux Solus campus tomorrow. Uh, so soon? Well, I guess that means we should use the rest of the day to celebrate together. Come! Let's get breakfast at your favorite place. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. Come on. I will not be able to reproduce those two voices in three seconds from now, but I try. The next day, we are heading to campus. Look at all these people on a train, uh, on the uh, train station. I wonder what station platform I'm on. It looks like we made it in time. So here you are, Stingray, on the starting line of your own adventure. Just look at you, no longer my little Stingray, but all grown up and choosing your own path in life. It makes me a little bit sad to see you go. Aw, she was even crying, but I'm also very proud of you. I know you're ready for this. Ever since you were a little, you were dreaming of becoming a Coromon trainer. Today, that day has finally come. That's why to celebrate this day, I got you a present. Here you go. I hope you like it. I received running shoes. Awesome. Shoes have been for ages known to make you run faster. Thanks, Mom. These will come in handy for sure. Glad to hear that, honey. Oh, look, I can see the appro train approaching. Well, let's get on that train. That looks like a futuristic high-tech super train. Uh-oh. Have you everything you need? Your backpack? Your ticket? Clean underwear? <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'm old enough to take care of myself. Well, we better get in. Oh, the train is not about to depart. You better get on before it leaves without you. But first, a big hug. Aww, it's so sweet. Let's get on the train, quick. Look at split. Let's do get on the train. Goodbye, Mom. Aww. That's kind of sad. Goodbye, dear. Well, let's go. Let's see where we uh, head off to. I'm happy and I'm ready. Move, please. Dexter's going to be my arch enemy. I know it right now. Arch enemy right there, getting off the train behind me. I'm calling it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can find... Can I... Oh, there we go. Sweet. I can run if I hold the button down. There we go. I kind of like that. So whatever is in that little uh, box down there is like a using uh, box. So there's information. Train departure times. I'm not leaving anytime soon. All right. Cool. That's a neat. Like the art style already. Hello, new trainer. Could you come over here for a minute? We're Jockum and Marcel, the developers of Gormon. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Thank you so much for trying out our demo, demo. We hope you enjoy it. Well, I hope I enjoy it too. Thank you for your welcome. Things you should know about. Please keep in mind the game is not in final state. Uh, yes, they're improving the game and adding new features as well as possible bugs. 
Okay, go up to level 23. That's definitely... Save games can't be used for the release of the complete game. 23 is still a pretty far distance. There could be some parts of the show. Simply let us know. We can fix it. Awesome. Feedback. Positive and negative. Yeah. Okay. I will. I will shine bright like... I don't know. Like something that shines really bright. Okay, right, we need to get going, buddy. Okay, let's... Is this Luxem... This is the reception. Hello and welcome to Luxolus. How am I to help? <laughs> I don't know where that was going. How am I to assist you? Hello, my name is Stingray. I was told to report here. Ah, Stingray, welcome to our wonderful organization. Thank you. One moment, please, while I check your registration. She has some weird accent. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's fluctuation. Ah, I see. It looks like we still need to know your preferred difficulty. Okay, well, yeah, okay. Normal difficulty with regular experience. I would like to try out like a regular. I'll read it carefully. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like a regular because I don't really want to. I definitely don't want to do insane either. I kind of, especially for like now, I want to experience the game that it's meant to be. And I would say that's normal difficulty. So let's go from there. Thank you. I made the necessary adjustments for you. You can return to that computer anytime if you'd like to lower your difficulty. Here's your personal trainer card. It identifies you as an official Luxolus trainer. Please keep it with you at all times. All right, sweet. Oh, I didn't notice you don't have a gauntlet or any Kormon yet, but that's not a problem at all. We're happy to provide those for you. If you go to the Kormon lab and find Professor Lodge, he'll assist you with finding the right Kormon for you. Have fun and shine bright. But he's like so excited. Shining bright sounds like a good thing. Boy, I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. A lot of like story beginning stuff which is going to be necessary but so we need to find like the lab and i'm gonna guess this i like the art style too this uh kind of pseudo pseudo top down 3d uh um view thing i like that hello can i help you hello i'm here for my first core month, and i'm supposed to Get a gauntlet here? You're in the right place then. I got a gauntlet right here for you. I don't know what a gauntlet is. Here you go. Sounds like something, yeah, fits something that goes over. Thanks. But, um, what is it for exactly? It's a vital tool. In short, Lux trainers use this to carry their Kormon with them. Why don't you go ahead and put it on? All right, sure. So it's kind of like, um, the Beyblade, I'm thinking, uh, maybe that's not it. Fits like a glove. Ha ha ha, I love it. Professor Larch is further down the room. He'll help you with your first, come on, shine bright. There's this thing that I'm thinking of that's, that's like one of these, uh, game trainers where they had this big, or, uh, monster trainer, um, Digimon or something that had this big kind of, um, metal arm thing going on uh is this professor nope that's christopher okay i would where is he then is he like is this oh that's a door oh okay, that's probably him right there larch ah the next customer come over here don't be shy now hi there welcome to professor larch dating service <laughs> That joke never gets old with. I am Professor Lodge, and I am charge of this Kormon lab. This is your first day here, right? So this means you'll need a Kormon to get started. Oh boy, field work. Adventures await you, going on quests, capturing new Kormon, and battling other trainers to get even stronger. But let's not get of ourselves yet. Let me tell a bit about what I do. In my lab, I research Kormon and their capabilities with trainers. Cap... Not capabilities, compatibilities. 
After many years, I have come to know almost everything there is known about Cormon in Velua. You, and you can take my word on this, each and every one of them is unique. That is why it's important to match new trainers with the right Cormon. Different Cormon personalities require a different approach from trainers. But don't worry, this machine behind me will help me find a Cormon which is compatible with you. Before we can start the scan, however, I do need to send some measurements. Well, measure me up. Let me see. Is he going to be measuring my, like, head size or... I don't know. There used to be an old thing about, like, the size of your head. In, in psychology, like, the size of your head. Like, the, the, the width around or the circumference of your head. At your forehead, meant you were smarter or something. Okay. I don't know what he did. I'm scared. Yes, that's all I need for now. I'll enter these parameters into the machine, and then the machine will scan your brain waves. With all the data we collect, we'll advise you on the best possible Cormon for you. Please step into the machine, matching machine, to start the analysis. I'm kind of scared. I don't know if I want to go into machine that uh, read my brain's waves. Right, like guys said, this machine will scan your brain, brain waves for further analysis. These will be compared to our cloud blockchain mainframe algorithms to give you the most accurate test results. There was a bunch of just big words right there in the row. Please don't move during the scan or you might lose an arm or two. Oh, that's not good. I'm starting the analysis. Here we go. It's probably an just to give me okay it could be you know, like like a story behind the three starter pokemon is kind of what i'm go thinking it's going need more data for the scan i'll ask you some questions and enter your answers into the machine please answer honestly question one you encounter a wild cormon what is your first reaction attack it no uh try to capture it i see what is your motivation becoming a trainer? I want to be the best. I want to be the best that I ever was. Um, I want to work with Coromon. I want to protect Vel Veluva's environment. Uh, I want to be the best. Which of these three attacks appeals to you most? Toughen up, inner peace, fiery breath. Um a very like I'm very curious in how these Cormons attack um let's go with toughen up not my favorite but let's continue fiery breath does definitely sound like um a cool attack navy out of those three choices I would say like a dark green would be my favorite color overall but out of those three choices but Arctic blue, would that be like a real light blue? I like, let's do with that. The same colors as living room. And the final question, your first date? Um, skydiving. First date, you gotta go skydive. So romantic. <laughs> All done, you can step out now. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Piece of cake. Good, why don't you stand over there and I'll tell you the results. So he's gonna pull up, yeah, my three period options. Get three picks. The Fire Cor uh, Cormon Taruga. Very strong, it loves to battle, he can learn powerful moves. Ooh, Nimblegar, a water type Cormon. Has high endurance in battles and can outlast most other Cormon. There's an Ice Cormon, Cub Zero. This Cormon is jack of all trades. It's perfect balance between offense and defense. Um, I'm gonna say the middle one. I wonder if I can like make Cormon like D and D characters. <laughs> uh, multiples would be a good set multiple watch. Fire would be a match for you, and the Ice Cormon would go well together. That makes it hard to choose, right? Why don't you take a closer look and pick what you like the most? I am going to pick this guy. We'll get through the, even the dice of GS. I'm curious what details will they give me? Oh, 
whose ring is within their entire life. No dude has ever seen without one. Interesting. Let's pick him. Let's go with it. Pick the Nimblegar. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna give nicknames. It's just too complicated. I'll, yeah. Great choice. I had a suspicion that you would pick up, yeah. Of course you did. Of course you can say that now. Before you head out, be sure to check which trait your Nimbagal has in the menu. Cormon, variant traits and how you fight with your Nimbagal will greatly depend on what trait it has. Speaking of which, you must be aching to try out a battle with your new Cormon. I am. Hmm, he's gonna throw it out. Throw it out right here in the lab. One moment, I'll give him a call on his luck phone. It's gonna be Dux Dexter. I'm calling it right now. It's gonna be Dexter. Come on. Hmm. How can I see his facial expressions when his back is turned towards me? <laughs> He's accepted your challenge and is already heading for the training grounds. But before you go, take this. Uh-oh. Type manual. Effectors of the Cormon types in Veluva. Be study it well, and if you get what it says, you can always... Read it during a battle. Now you go to the training grounds. I'll catch up with you. Oh, okay. well, let's go. Um, Nimble Gear. I'm curious as what he has. That's experience points attack. You could also, this is not like you actually get when you attack. You get um, skill points that you could use to... Um, Will it tell me what it does? Roar. Use it, it's on a mighty word, decreasing the attack of the target. Okay. Um, uh, so bite and a roar. Uh, so once they level up, instead of just getting a little bit stronger, the uh, Cormon, you get skill points, so you can actually create your own uh, Cormon however you see fit. Over. Can I go this way? Oh, I can go this way. Maybe this is the battle. There we go. Dexter! Ha <laughs> ha! Are you the one Lurch called me about? Yes, I am. I'm Stingray. Name's Dexter. I hope you could offer me a challenge. Which starter were you matched with? I chose Nimblegar. I see. Then you're no match for me and my Chub Zero. Uh-oh. Ah, I see the two of you already met. Good. Why don't you go ahead and take your places at the arena? Let's fight. I'm ready! Be careful, if your Kormon loses all of its HP, it will faint, and the entire squad faints. You will lose the match. Yeah, so keep a close eye on your Kormon. If you do not know what a skill does, you can hold down on the skill to get it. Yeah. Try it out. Good luck to both of you, and give it your best. Ready? And go! So we throw out... Dexter versus Stingray. We both got one Cormon. Your opponent is sending out Chub Zero. Go, Nibblegar! Oh, I like those little spinner things. That's kind of cool. Bite. I want to bite him. Bite him! Okay, I'm, I'm liking this. It, it's, uh, I would say cute pose. So I like him. I won't hurt him as much. Defense decreases. Ooh. Special defense increase. Interesting. Um, it looks like it may be a Game Boy Advanced or something to that. It's it's in the later uh, Pokemon kind of area. I think is what it's it's going for here. Okay, using go. We're gonna tear him up here. So my defense decreases. I don't know what super sensory is. So my... What is... Okay, go back squad items. I'm just kind of curious. I don't have anything. Yeah, I don't have anything to use. Like, I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of health potions or something like that. I like the, the bite animation. That's pretty cool. Cub Zero has fainted. I like the little, yeah. 114 XP, sweet! Let's go! Oh, he's level 6! Yeah! So, his stats move up. I got Bubble Burst. Cool!
But I was thinking there was... I defeated Dexter. No! Got 49 gold for winning. That's pretty cool. So I need to go get some spinners. He's not going to be happy. Well done, both of you. Why don't you come over here for a moment? That was a great battle to watch. You both seem to have made the right choice for your first Koromon. Arch, what will happen with my cup zero now? Don't worry, Dexter. You can go to the training hub and they will they will take care of your cub zero. So yeah, the hospital. Got hurt as well, Stingray, but luckily it did not faint. Here, you can restore its HP with this HP cake. Sweet! That's the store we could buy those. If you call me for a rest move. Interesting. I want to see your SP, your pony, your present name tag. It shows some more useful mention on the corner. Interesting. Okay, well, let's do that. Okay, so I got those two things I could use. Have your Koma will probably not enough to succeed. You should expand your squad as soon as you can. My brother Adder is in the Spinner Test Center. Knows everything about catching Koma. Okay, so I got to go to Adler and see if I can find some... Uh-oh. Hello, are you Professor Adler? I came here to get some spinners. Ah. Our prodigy stingray, come in! Stop! It's dangerous to go into tall grass without proper preparation, silly. Let's start over. Welcome, welcome. You guessed correctly. I am Adler. It is my job here to find out how we can make spinners as efficient as possible. I know everything there is to know about spinners, and I'll feed your brain with some of that knowledge, too. Here, take some. Awesome. These are spinners, but I guess you'd figure that out already. Let's move on. Spinners are used to capture wild Koromon. Using them is as easy as throwing a rock. They're not perfect, however. Me and my team here keep inventing new spinner designs. By now, there's a special spinner for almost any situation. But the most important thing for you to remember is to weaken your opponent before attempting to capture it. Yes. If you lower your Cormon's HP, you will increase your success ranging for catching immensely. There's enough talk. Let's try it out on my assistant. Oh, don't be silly now. I'm talking about Patty. My patter bit. Humans don't fit in spinners. Ha <laughs> ha. Just give me a moment to adjust the setting if I can find him. <laughs> he's not going to be able to find it. Uh, eventually, I'm sure he's going to find it <laughs> somewhere. There you are, Patty. Now just turn the screw here. Put that line of code there. That should do it. You're up. So I... Walk through the grass until you find my assistant. Then use a spinner to catch Patty. With Caddy's, Patty's current settings, the chance of a spinner failing is just very, very small. Okay. Oh, I got him. Let's go. Throw the spinner. Go, Nibble Gar. Oh, I probably should attack first. Oh, he's at one. So items. No. Spin. Okay, spinner. Use a spinner! Oh, did it work? Is it gonna work? I don't know. How do I know if it's gonna work or not? There it goes! Patter bit was caught. Give a nickname. No, I do not want to get. No nicknames! Oh, do I get to keep Patter bit? Because that would be kind of cool. It looked kind of cool too. It looked like a, a helicopter flyer, helicopter bug. Is either to cast your different spinners for more effective against specific Koromon. You keep that in mind, you'll have a strong squad in no time. All thanks to Adler and Patty. Ha <laughs> ha. Now you can re report to your assistant supervisor. Your training card should say who it is. All right, I'll check my trainer card. Here it is. It says my supervisor is a Spruce. Uh-oh. Professor Spruce, the big cheese himself. Uh-oh. 
No need to worry, he's a nice person, that's just how he rolls, haha. <laughs> you can find Spruce in the R&D lab, which is right next door. Shine bright! Play. I wonder if I can go... ...and to the hospital and heal, heal up. Feel, I mean, I know they, they, they gotta explain stuff a lot, but I would kind of like to skip some of that too. Um, I want to heal. Training hub, would you like to take care of your... Yes, I think. You're going to heal my my little guys. Thank you for waiting. They're, we're fully restored. We fully... Uh, that's what I wanted to do. That's it. I just wanted to make sure they're tip-top shape before I go out. I like this game already. It's fun. I like the... The, the concept. I like the um, art style. So we'll have to... Probably do another video. He's working in the restricted lab. One moment ago, I find him free. Oh, okay. Good. Thank you very much. Go get it. I'm curious how this works. This aspect of it. Hello, are you my supervisor, Spruce? Nice to meet you. I'm staying right. But again, this is more you're working for a corporation to get information on these. I'm Professor Spoop. I hope your time him so far has been educational. I learned a lot already. I'm glad to hear that. And now it's time to put your talents to use on the field. Come, we'll talk in my office. My throat's getting a little <laughs> hoarse. Spruce. I'm Dexter. I was told to report to you. Oh, no, Dexter. Oh, that's not good. We're going to make a lot of enemies here. R&D lab. We both apply to be field trainers. Traveling around to gather data on Cormon, but you should. Big motivation. I believe your talents were better suited for a more challenging task. Interesting. Instead, I want the two of you to work with me on Project Chimera. Together, we will collect Titan essences using our newly developed essence collector. You'll be the first trainers to use this essence collector in the field. Interesting. Are embedded within elemental titans, creatures of immense power. Six of them are known to be in Velua. We want to extract the Titan Essence of each of these six Titans. We believe each Titan's Essence hold great potential, so we want to investigate them. Do they extract their Essences? Nothing at all. We've already managed to test the Essence Collector on a single Titan. They pose possess so much Titan Essence, they'll be barely noticed. They will take some of it. It's like a mosquito bite with them. Wait, so you've already have Titan Essence? We had one, yes. We had our test our prototype module, but the prototype wasn't able to collect the Titan, contain the Titan essence for long. The current model does not have that problem anymore. Our aim is to have six, all six of them, so has six of them stored in a single essence. We believe we can't discover their full potential. So it's now going to be a race between me and Dexter. Who's going to get the six Titan essences in the same I see that makes sense. The first Titan you'll go to is Valgar, the Blender of Storms. Valgar is loaded in the Power Tower at Donner Island, where he guides thunderstorms toward the island to defeat it in battle before you're able to try the Titan Essence, and Titans are very strong creatures indeed. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to leave without the actual Essence Collector. That would be bad. Come on, enough talk, let's go. And that's number two. Done with the story, let's go. That's a precise task, the only one person who is able to work with that level of precision. Name is Perrin, a good friend of mine, he's working at Blacksmith. Okay, right. Perrin the Blacksmith. It lies just beyond Radiant Peak. Go east and then follow the road through the woods. You have the module installed. Go east again until you reach... Okay, well, go east. Oh, we could do that. I'd like to get out and at least get one... 
please stay out of my way. Yeah, he's going to be my competition now. Let's go see if we can run there quickly. I wouldn't mind grabbing... I've healed him up. I have one run to the store real quick, and I bet he is too, but... I don't know if they'll actually show it, but... I need to get... I don't buy something. Just go up to this guy and buy it. I don't... Welcome, I want to buy items. Can I get maybe... Oh, wow. Okay, we got a little bit. Let's grab a... That is... Okay, so yeah. Let's grab like a... a, a one of these. I don't have no idea what I'm going to need. But buy one of each, I guess, at least to start out with. Here we go. Let's go. Wait up! Hey, who's that? I, Casey Hastings, remember me? I'm Casey, Professor Spruce's assistant. Sorry to bother you again, but Professor Spruce asked me to give you these recall gadgets. You need the cup as quickly you can use them to instantly teleport back. Well, that's useful. Lux recall. Okay. Nifty on each one has one charge. You can stock them up in shops. Okay. Awesome. I like the little bird chirping in the background. That's kind of cool. Let's see if we can find any part. I just want to catch maybe one, one real, a uh, real, real Koromon out in the wild. Oh, there we go. Let's go for it. It's a bur a Silquill appeared. So I want to, uh. Ooh, I got this thing too, so let's see what that water drop bubble burst does. Oh, that was good. That was definitely a good hit. Oh, and it decreased its speed. That's kind of cool. I love the animation. So, item maybe, and then I want to use a spinner? I don't see. Let's see if it works. It, it, maybe, no, please. Oh, there's trying to get out. It's kind of the, I like the animation to show kind of, it's trying to get out. Let's try to grab another one really quickly and see what options there are, what type of, there's another bug one. Pattern built, I don't know if how about downloaded the attack? I missed what that did. Um, let's go ahead and try this. I don't know if I how many of these things I need. I have five. Be decreased. Use tackle. Um, I'm kind of curious. I would like to go ahead and capture. I gotta go back anyways to get more spinners. So I kind of want to just capture everything. I'm going to do one more bite, and hopefully it doesn't knock him out. I don't think it... Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, well. He fainted. That's okay. You don't ex get experience if you don't knock him out. I noticed that if you capture him, you don't get experience. So I guess that was a good way of kind of showing the two. Uh, so I think we'll end it there. It's a little bit long, but there's a lot going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I think we'll be doing more on this. I very much enjoyed this game already. So uh, we'll check out a little bit more. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.